Welcome back, YouTube. I am Turnkey, your host. In this video, I will cover the lore for Western Europe from the Conflict 47 rulebook and its supplement, Resurgence. And in the following video, I will cover Eastern Europe. Please like and subscribe for more Conflict 47 lore. The invasion of mainland Europe is begun by Britain and the United States on June 6, 1944. Swift progress is made in establishing a beachhead, leading to a push into Carrington while attempting to take the town of Cannes from the Germans. This is when the Germans unleashed their first Riftech gleaned weapons, Die Token Corps terrifying zombie legions. But even with these horrors, by December the German army had been pushed out of France to the Belgian border. The use of Rift Tech by the Axis convinces the United States to bring British scientists to the Area 51 Rift Project. Among the British scientists is one Arthur Clifton who passed secrets to the Soviets. German forces launched a new offensive, showing off more new rift tech. The new light Panzermechs devastated American and British armor, while the Schreckwolfen hunted terrorized Allied troops, causing some to flee at the sight of these unnatural beasts. The Allies first deployed the Tesla cannon equipped Shermans and heavy armored infantry in Operation Newport in an effort to counter advances in German weapon tech. A larger German army is encircled in Brussels as the Allies push east. German forces surprise Allied command with a series of rapid advances and victories in Italy, recapturing Rome. Allied reinforcements in southern Italy are hampered by logistics problems, leaving them vulnerable to fresh German technologies. Neither the British nor the US forces wanted to lead the offensive to recapture Rome in the face of superior and frightening German armament. Further to the north, the Allies continue to make progress, finally putting an end to resistance in Brussels with the deployment of U.S. Coyote Light Walkers, British Guardian Light Walkers, and U.S. Grizzly Walkers. As the Allies reach the Rhine, a massive air war is begun to establish air superiority over the German heartland. For the next 12 months, the Allies wage an aggressive campaign to secure bridgeheads, beachheads, river crossings, ferry landings, any stable position on the enemy side of the Rhine, which can be held and expanded. But the Germans fight equally hard to crush any resistance on the east side of the Rhine, often leaving heavy panzer mechs to fight alone against impossible odds. Cross-river operations and air superiority operations are hindered by a desperate cold winter across Europe. The harsh winter of early 1947 is used by the German army to re-equip and resupply its forces. The Allies do much the same, using the industrial might of the United States to arm local European forces. The French forces begin to reassert themselves under the leadership of Dugal, having returned in 1944 and organized the re-establishment of the French army. By June 1947, they are ready to field heavy infantry walkers alongside their American allies. Southern Italian forces are similarly recruited and equipped and folded into the Allied ranks. As the winter comes to an end, French and U.S. forces launch an offensive south of Frankfurt with an objective of destroying German forces west of the Rhine. They're met with some success, but fall short of capturing their full objectives. A French push is able to again make gains, but is ground to a halt and forced to dig in to hold newly won territory. British and U.S. forces in the north probe for weaknesses on the German lines while deploying Churchill meteors to destroy German hardpoints. Allied forces in Italy hesitate to commit full-scale offensives, lacking rift tech in the numbers needed to break the stubborn German defenses. An offensive is led by the U.S. 5th Army but cancelled after predictable losses. German forces dig in, unwilling to leave the advantages of their fortified positions. Frustrated by a lack of progress, Eisenhower orders offensives on all fronts. Canadian forces in the north are tasked with entering the Rhineland and pushing into German territory. Forces in the south are made to destroy the remaining Germans west of the Rhine. Canadian forces make gains, seize territory, and are reinforced by British forces. But before British forces can begin their offensives, the German army launches their own offensives. Heavy panzer units scatter the British forces before they can mount an adequate defense. 
The tanks move quickly to take the port of Antwerp, Brussels, and Rotterdam. British and Canadian forces fight desperately to stall the Riftek led assaults. Forces to the south move northward to reinforce their allies when they're engaged and pinned in place by German army units. The fate of the Allied foothold in Europe seems perilous as we enter June 1947. Thank you for listening. Please tune in next time as I cover Eastern Europe. Thank you.